In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, as we gather to celebrate the feast of Mary, the mother of the, Our Lady, Mother of the Church, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Your Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. You are word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord of God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the blessed Mary ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, may grace and peace be yours in abundance through knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. His divine power has bestowed on us everything that makes for life and devotion through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and power. Through these, he has bestowed on us the precious and very great promises so that through them you may come to share in the divine nature. After escaping from the corruption that is in the world because of evil desire, For this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue, virtue with knowledge, knowledge with self-control, self-control with endurance, endurance with devotion, devotion with mutual affection, mutual affection with love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, in you, my God, I place my trust. In you, my God, I place my trust. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, say to the Lord, my refugee and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Because In you, my God, I place my trust. Because he clings to me, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he acknowledges my name. He shall come, call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in distress. In you, you, my God, God, I place place my my trust. trust. I will deliver him and glorify him. With length of days, I will grantify him and will show him my salvation. In you, You, my my God, God, I I place place my my trust. trust. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, who have loved us and freed us from our sins by your blood. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. 
Jesus began to talk to the chief priests and scribes and the elders in parables. A man planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a new wine press, and built a tower. When he learned, when he le then he leased it to tenant farmers and left on a journey. At the proper time, he sent a servant to the tenants to obtain from them the produce of the vineyard. But they seized him, beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. Again, he sent another servant, and that one they beat over the head and treated shamefully. He sent yet another whom they killed. So too many others, some of them, some they beat, others they killed. He had one other to send, a beloved son. He sent them, him to them, that at last of all thinking, they will respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, this is the year. Come, let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they seized him and killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come, put the tenants to death, and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read this scripture passage? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone by the, by the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. They were seeking to arrest him, but they feared the crowd, for they realized that he had addressed the parable to them. So they left him and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the feast of Mary, the mother of the church, and it's a relatively new celebration. Pope Francis instituted it two, uh, two years ago because she, he, he wanted to make sure that we understood that Mary continues to have a special place in the hearts of the church. She has many titles, and if you look at the churches in the Archdiocese of Chicago, there are many churches named after Mary. In fact, there is a Mary, the mother of church, in, 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 in the diocese. I happen to be assigned to Queen of All Saints at one point, another title for Mary, the mother of God. And of course, there's a reason why that Pope Francis gave, her, gave the church this new feast for Mary, the mother. Motherhood represents calmness, peace, love, serenity. Now, granted, there are some people who do not experience that. For the most part, though, that is the, the way mothers are, 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 um, are, 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 are seen. In fact, you know, in the United States, we celebrate Mother's Day a few weeks ago, where we honored our mothers, both living and deceased. And one of the things, too, I think that Mary brings a certain peace and a serenity to the church. Sometimes in, term, term, in times of, of toil and trouble, we turn to Mary to bring us peace. In times of joy, we celebrate the fact that she is Mary, the mother of God. In Greek, it's the Theotokos, and now we make her Mary, the mother of the church, which gives her another honor. And I think, too, that one of the things that Mary brings is a certain feminine side to the church. When you have an institution that's mainly dominated by males, it's good to know that there's a gentleness that pervades within that community. And I think we need to remind ourselves of that, that in spite of the fact that sometimes we are seen by some people as the church militant, we have church that is mother. And let us remember that. And, and there are times when we really, when we are praying, let us pray to Mary, the mother of the church, the mother of God, queen of all saints, queen of angels, queen of heaven, queen of us all. Acknowledging our neediness, we turn to God and offer our prayers. For Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, and deacons, may the Spirit draw them together to devote themselves with one accord to prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government officials, may God give them eyes of mercy and hearts of truth to seek the common good and care for those they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all mothers, especially expectant mothers, facing uncertainty of poverty, may God give them the grace they need to lovingly welcome their children into our world as Mary did. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community gathered here in worship, may the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary help us grow in grace, fortitude, and fear of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may all the angels and saints soon welcome them into the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Especially today we pray for those who are deceased, especially Margaret Holgan and Walter Schultz, and for the living and deceased members of Our Lady of Perpetual Health Parish. Father in heaven, hear and answer are the prayers we have made with one accord. We pray through Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of the Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request may be made in vain through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast of Mary, the mother of the church. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. To whom the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending on your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, in need of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when so was entered, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ together to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop the clergy, the religious, 
and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, your spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grace and peace in our days. That by the for mercy we always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace, Lord, with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. They should enter to my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May really God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Let us go in peace.